Hey guys, another road trip uh, to Coa, Georgia at Corner, what's it called? Cornerstone Antique and Craft Market. It's a three story antique building. I'm going to go ahead and see, in here and see if we can find something good. This is a really cool town, Tacoa, Georgia. Any of you guys from here? Yeah, it's about four, no, we're about five or six hours away from home. Heading to North Carolina. But anyway, let's go inside and see what we can find. All right, so first thing I found, not the first thing, but model kits, they're not cars. Well, actually, take that back. The Tamiya swimming wagon, that's pretty cool. We've got some battlefield accessories, twin wings scout. This looks old, I'm not sure if it is because I'm not an airplane model enthusiast, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty old. AMT HE219 Hinkle and some kind of small little Japanese. Here's a submarine. Man, that's heavy. And an F14 Tomcat that seems empty. Huh, don't buy that one, guys. Moving on. I'm not going to get these. I just don't do airplanes. There's also tons of these die cast NASCAR things, which always get my attention because when I see that, I know probably model kits are somewhere close, but you just never can tell. And then I come across this, which is again, not model car related, but it's all these model train stuff. If I was into model trains, this would be so cool. Got all the buildings, it's got some actual Little locomotives. What scale is this? This is a HO scale, I believe. Yeah, HO scale. Tons of controllers. All kind of cars. As far as cars for the for the trains. But no model cars yet. We're still looking. We'll find them. Well, so far no luck on model cars. At this one. This is a big, it's called the Whistle Stop. It's in Tacoa, Georgia. I already mentioned that, but I do have some, they have some cool stuff though. Like look at that old Tonka, some kind of old Tonka truck, probably when I was a kid. And I saw a lot of these NASCAR types of haulers and there's Ken Schrader racing and all kind of stuff like that. But as far as uh, model kits go, it was a, uh, what do they call it? A, uh, anyway, no, it was a no. There's no model cars here that I found. A couple of airplanes, no cars. Well, I take that back. Remember the swimming wagon. But, all right, well, all what I'm going to do is we'll find another one to go to. Maybe have some more luck, uh, or at least more luck than we did here. And uh, we'll be back. See you in a minute. So, before I sign off from this store, I, I got a question for you guys. Here's an old dashboard out of something. It doesn't say what it is. Any of you guys have a clue what that might have come out of? I would say probably late 40s maybe, something like that. What the heck is that? I don't know. There's a Hess truck. All right, I think I'm done. Hey guys, back again at another antique store up in the mountains here in North Carolina. Uh, Franklin, North Carolina is where we're at and I'm at the Whistle Stop Antique Mall here and the mountains, it's so pretty out here. But we're gonna go in and see. I've been to this one many times. I've, I, one of the last hauls that I did about six or eight months ago, uh, I, had, I had gotten the, uh, the Rat Fink that got me in trouble. I got that model from here. So we're gonna go inside check out what it's all about so come with me so here's a room filled with toys guys don't be embarrassed to search out a room full of toys you never know what you're gonna find because I was looking on this shelf right here and I found one so this is a Neil Bonnet Poor old Neil Bonnet. He was killed at Daytona. So this is a 
What's the copyright date? 1989. Copyright date here. It's completely sealed for $9.99. Not too bad. Let's see if we can find some more. So here's a display case. They've got some. This firefighting kit, but it's like $139. And they've got some die cast. And then they've got this weird looking rat. RF. I don't know what RF stands for. Like, I'm not sure what that is. There's another RF thing. I'm not sure what you guys, what does RF stand for? Help me out here. Here's another one. Found in some more. Here's a, some kind of die cast. Really heavy. Uh, scale models. I don't know what, never heard of scale models, but it's die cast. It's a 32 Chevy. It's looking for some sort of date on that it's got tape holding it closed but I could open it if I wanted to but it got a $40 price tag on it probably pass on that one then they got this 37 Ford highway scenes with a little uh I'm trying to talk really fast so I don't get the music in the background but it's got a 37 Ford and a uh, little diner scene which is pretty cool 1980 oh, I can't see 1988 maybe or 98 39 bucks on that one I'll pass on that too a little high a little high on the price. Here's a diecast Corvette, 58 Corvette. Okay, well, just looking, 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 scan, scan, scan. Keep looking. Those are a little high. I think I'll pass on those, but still need to come across stuff like that that you never, you don't see very often. Pretty cool. Carry on. Here's something pretty cool that I spotted. Besides this little can of Pepsi that's still got Pepsi in it. Look at that Dale Earnhardt telephone. You guys remember these? Look like a phone, look like a car. Pick it up and talk on. Hello? Is this Dale Earnhardt? Oh, hey man, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty cool. There's some old, just like Davy Allison truck. I don't know what these things are worth. They're all over the place. Everybody's got them. And then there is Andy Griffith's personal police car. Not really, but they do have a picture. Picture of uh, old Barney and Andy and Barney. Pretty cool. I think it may, may I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a real police car, but it did have air conditioning. Pretty cool. Maybe. There she goes. Here's a room. It's got some train stuff in it. But they had a setup, it looks like, because they had all the wire. There's a bunch of train track up under the bottom. Controller. They had like a turnaround bridge right here. Oh, we just had some music come on. That large, larger scale stuff. I'm not sure what scale that is. But they have quite a bit of this stuff in here. There's a ship. That's amazing. And then I saw this other, this is a train room sort of, but I found this, uh, another one of these scale, well, Hubley scale models. Okay, so that's kind of like the one earlier. This one is a 31 Ford. And it's also 39 bucks. I don't know if I can open this one. It's, it's also taped up. I'd like to see the contents inside it. I've never seen these before. I'll have to look them up and see, see what the value is on them. But you never know what you might find. There's, there's just train cars and things like that. Lionel, what scale is this? I ain't got a clue. Anyway, not really having much luck except for the stock car that's 10 bucks, can't beat that. I'm gonna get that one. Well, got a few more rooms we'll look and then uh, that'd probably wind her up. There's Ruthie. It's so neat to find a antique store that's just really, really big. Like this one is just, John Normus, and we've been here many, many times, and you never know what you're going to find each time you come. But it, this is a particularly neat one. It's an old school house. And uh, I've looked through every room already, found a couple kits. And uh, yeah, 
You just never know what you're going to find. So just get out and explore. And also there's always <laughs> something for the whole family. Like a bonnet. <laughs> And I just found another one, Jeff Burton. I don't know if there's anything in here. Ravel, Jeff Burton. I don't know if the top comes off. Oh, the top actually flips. There's one right there, guys. That's like a complete kit. Looks like the decals might be shot out, I'm not sure, but $9.95, Jeff Burton. I think I've got two of these already, but that's really cool. Awesome. Hey guys, coming back at you again, another video. Bryant's Antique Mall, Auto, North Carolina. You wanna see what this is all about? It's uh, got two buildings, this is the first one. We're gonna go in this one and then we'll come and go to the second one. Check it out, see what's in here. Maybe a car. So I found something really interesting. Right here is, I uh, found a couple of these Johan promo cars. Really warped bad. Tires all falling off of them. This is a 57 Chrysler $25 I won't get them but there's that one and there's this also no that's not a 57 Chrysler here this is another it says Chrysler but I don't know what year it is but it's, it's definitely it's Johan I don't think you can see that and then there's this 1960 Comet perfect Comet they want fifty dollars for that one, but anyway, pretty cool in an antique mall. Would you ever know it? Here's one that you know that you're probably gonna find something at least close. Got a lot of cars, a lot of neat stuff. There's some sort of old Corvette, metal Corvette car. Here's one, guys. Look at this stamp metal. I know this. I'm not trying to get off the model car topic, but look at this. Old metal car, you push it, it keeps going. Cool. And here we go. Monogram, Dale Earnhardt, Monte Carlo. What year is this thing? Looks like 1988 copyright date. Can't tell if that's 45 or 15, but I think it's 45 bucks. They're there insane, but if it's 15, I'd take it. I have to check on that. Really cool stuff in antique malls, guys. Look at that Mustang. It's got some sort of gear levers, old trucks. Just really cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. So now I'm in Dillard, Georgia. This is as far north in Georgia as you can go until you get into North Carolina. And there's these shops here all along the road. And in the, there's antique stores. And there's the majority of these shops behind me here are two story. They go down, there's like at the antique shop, it'll be two story. So there's quite a bit to look at. So go check this out. So I spotted something coming down the stairs. Coming down the stairs here, I saw some cars. Cars, 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 cars. D, 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 D. And here we go. I don't know if I've ever seen this kit. 37 panel delivery. $20. Rev Revell monogram. What's it probably? Somewhere in the late early 2000s or something maybe let's see if we can find a date copyright date on this thing 1997 pretty cool i think i might have to get this one i don't know if there's any more but if there are 
I'll let you know. Came across this. I thought this plane was came out of this box, but I was wrong. This is a little Lindbergh P51 Mustang 172 scale. It's already like glue bombed. It's in the box, but then I saw this. How many of you guys remember these? Little control line plane. Uh, nitro powered control line plane. I had one when I was a kid. It was a Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers spaceship. I guess the early 80s. And this one's probably much older than that. It's pretty cool. I didn't even see how much they wanted for it. $25 for that. That's so cool. Anybody want a control line plane? Come get it. Check this out, what I just found. Monogram Land Rover. Never saw this before. First time I ever saw this kit. It's got something in it. Probably a glue bomb. Is it? Nope. Isn't that too cool? Holy moly. Never saw this kit. Well, any of you guys built this? What number kit is it? It's kit number 2279. $35. Check it out. Should I get it? I don't know. I found something else here. I've seen this one on eBay quite a few times. Wins. Who drove this thing? I can't really tell who, who drove it. Um, what year is this? Copyright 1988. They've got $25 on it, but they've got a slash through it, the price, like maybe maybe half that. I'll have to check and see. I wouldn't give them 25 for it, but maybe uh maybe I would give them about 13. I check on it. I'm finding all kinds of neat stuff. There's the two already. I've got them sitting here. Found out this one. Um Seems to be pretty rare. Um, looked at eBay. Prices are actually kind of high on it there. And I'm not familiar with this kit, but anyway. you have to check on this one to see what the price would be. Found another one here. I'm not into this. What is it? Star Wars? I've never heard of Star Wars, but there's an NPC. I'm just joking. Don't, don't, please don't in the comments say, you've never heard of Star Wars? I've heard of Rat Fink too. I just make jokes. Star Wars NPC. Star Wars Darth Vader TIE Fighter. And it had a had a date on it somewhere. I think 1978. Anyway. They're asking 45 bucks for it. I'd never give you that much for it, but that's because I'm not into Star Wars. But it's still a model kit pretty cool I'll put it back on the shelf if you want to come to Dillard and get it that's where it's that's where I put it right there and here's another not a car but it is a model model kit big old box p61 black widow 20 bucks I guarantee it's worth more than that if you're an airplane guy Ravel Look at that. In the package, Black Widow P61. There's tons of like um, little die cast and all, which I don't really look at all those because there's so many. Their video would be like a year long, so I just do models when I come across them. But anyway, there's another one. This this antique mall here's got quite a few. Pretty cool. Found another one. Found another one? Yep. 
My mom's with me. She's repeating everything I say. Say hey, mama. Hi. I said, I found another one. She says, oh, you found another? <laughs> so here you go. McDonald's, Bill Elliott, AMT kit. 20 bucks, overpriced. I don't think I'd give $20 for that. What's the 1995 is the copyright date on that one? It's sealed. Seal kit, $20 out the door. You'd have to pay tax on it. So I don't know what tax would end up being, but it seems like the NASCAR kits are just not, they don't have as much value as uh, other kits like that Land Rover and things like that because they flooded the market with those things. It just seems like there were so many, like, kind of like diecast, diecast NASCARs. They're just everywhere. Anyway, there was another one. Cool. Yeah. All right, so all done. All that walking for two measly little kits. I got that Land Rover by Monogram and the 37 Ford panel delivery. I'd, I'd say that was a pretty good day. I got, I didn't get the best prices on them, but the, both of these are, seem to be rather less uh, more rare. How about that? That's a good word. So anyway guys, thanks for coming along with me again. I know this isn't my typical stuff, but because we're on vacation, I figured I would do something a little different and we will see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go to the Facebook group. Don't forget to go to Hobby Nut Models. All those linked in the description below. And uh, hopefully I'll do a video soon on the, all the kits that I bought on this trip. So you guys take care. See you later. Hey guys. Found something really uh really cool i'm at another antique shop um i'm gonna turn the camera around and let you see it so you know you're onto something when you come to a to a spot like this but i got to look and, and check this out found this amt toronto 1967 kit very stinking cool it has everything except the instructions and then these older Ravel kits. It's 19 or it's a 48, 48, uh, uh, 148 scale. And then these, uh, Renwall. Look at all these kits. These 148th, I guess it is. Yeah, 148th Renwall kits. Uh, two more of those older Ravel kits. They're all complete, too. I'll take the top off one. You see the everything's in there in the plastic. Um, Here's a 1950 Renoir 148 scale. It's all complete. It's all in there. It even comes with this little display box. The the Mustang's a glue bomb. Um, and then there's these trucks. These are the originals. These aren't re-releases. Um, they want fifty dollars for this one. AMT. They're sort of started, but they're all looks like they're all there. Um, the steak bed truck that they re-released -re recently. This is has a little bit of paint on it but it's not a glue bomb and then there's this um mg car right it's been started but you never know what you're gonna find here's a here's a renoir 31 cadillac i think these kits are like from so these are like 1965 i think is the release date on these and then the, this is like 1974 or 72 but I was so excited when I come across these. I may have to pick up a couple of these little small guys. So stinking cool. All right, so I know the video was over and then all of a sudden I've got this other antiques shop. But anyway, I was on my way home and this is Livonia Antique Market in Livonia, Georgia. It's right next to, where's the, the Interstate I-85 to go to Atlanta's right over here. So this is Livonia antique market and this i only bought these two i bought the 48 ford or the night i'm sorry 50 ford convertible and the 65 corvette and there's all those other kits still in there there's probably five or six more of these and i looked at them all they're all complete this was the only ford they had that 
1967 release, I think it was, of that Oldsmobile Toronto. It's still in there. It's got a little bit started on it. It looked like to me everything was complete, no instructions. And those truck kits were down there. Those were the original release truck kits from AMT. I don't know, back in the 70s or something like that. Um, and tons of old train stuff. So if you do decide to come here, when you go in the main entrance right here, just shoot to the left. So go all the way down to the left and it's down there on your right. So anyway, all right guys, I'm done now. We're heading home. We're still about five and a half hours from our house. So thanks for watching. Again, I know I already closed the video out one time. But thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, comment, all those good things. See y'all next time. Bye.